Vanity Fair, I'm Emily Blunt. Hello, Vanity Fair, I'm Killian Murphy. Ooh. I'm Robert Downey Jr. and the entire oral history of the cinematic each other. Each other. Each other. Yeah. What do you love most about awfully Florence? embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the thing I should say as well is that every time Chris has called me, I've always said yes before I've read the script. So it's a sort of it's just a formality re <laughs> reading the script. You know? If we could survive it, could you? <laughs> I don't know. It was an heroic effort watching you play this guy, man. Well, I and think you're very kind. No, I think that I'm a little bit of a Mexican jumping bean by nature. Uh, these scenes with you as you carried this film as exceptionally as you did. They just got, yeah. he had no note. He had no notes, yeah. Chris was like, yeah, it was a little better than Damon's reaction to it. <laughs> Everyone turned up and delivered, every single actor. And he could only eat like an almond yeah. every day. And there was just he was so, so ama emaciated. The show at right and his physique. Right, I mean, I'm not the biggest chap in the world, but... You know. um, yeah, it's a, it's a thing that it takes a while to kind of process. Irish people can't take credit. I know. <laughs> Irish people are terrible at giving I and think, receiving I think, compliments. I think we're... <laughs> <laughs> Matt, don't be too desperate. I oh, think sorry, the thing sorry. is, I'm not Chris available. <laughs> when Chris calls, I think any actor would go, yeah. I've been asked to speak for the Oppenhomies. 